Hello, it's me again, Daniel Olaiwaju. I really apologize for taking too long to actually upload this video. I was quite busy. So, all right. So in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to create a free database and storage um, with Firebase. It's actually a platform provided by Google to actually make um, life easier for programmers that I can't actually you know afford a database so basically um, Firebase is a Google um, platform so um, I have an account already so I'm going to go to the console but if you are new to this just click on get started get authenticated by Google and then you're good to go so currently um, I have many projects I've created on, um, on Firebase, so you can just go ahead and click on add project, give your project a name, doesn't matter, but I like um, selecting names that don't actually contain, you know, um, figures I want to remember, so I like re-editing to I get the perfect um, project ID. All right, we are good to go. Let's click on continue. Let's scroll up. Let's click on continue because uh, let's select our Google Analyst, Analytic account. If you don't have one, you can just select the default one by Firebase. Firebase is going to um, create one for you. So basically, Google Analytics actually track the users, the traffic or users they actually goes into your application so you can know the um, amount of users or amount of activity performed on your act on your application so it's finishing up let's get into our project click on continue all right so here we are so to actually get started, we need to add our application to Firebase so we can get our API key and um, our app ID. So basically, we can actually add more than um, we think on Firebase. We can add iOS apps, we can add um, Android apps, we can add web, we can add Unity apps, we can add Flora apps. So I'm going to click on the Android apps as well building an android platform so remember the packaging we created um we edited them so i'm going to actually input the um what the package name that i will later be changing in the project so i'm going to give it this package name so we want to actually um make sure our package name is the same thing with the one in the application so i'm going to copy that we have you can actually you know leave this blank but you can just um, impute the what? app name so we can identify our application so click on register app to go to the next step Alright, you'll be prone to add um, this JSON to your application, but no need for that because Sketch has already added this and created this for us. So we just click on next and then move on to the next page. Click on next. You don't need to implement or add any of this. Google has created this for us. Sketchway has created this for us right now. So click on go to console. Okay, at the top under your project name, you click on um, your apps. Where you click on your apps, 
then go to settings by clicking on settings on your application all right so we go to the project settings uh, upon getting there um, our web API key is now available and so we have to you know get our web API key our bucket URL and our database URL and our app ID so we have our app ID here right there so we are going to be copying that uh, at the end of the video so we can paste into our project right now we need to generate our API key web API key our database URL and our bucket URL so we head to the build first of all we need to authenticate user to actually you know perform login sign up activity so we need to click on the authentication right there so for now we are just going to be signing user as an anonymous anonymously so you get click on get started right on this screen so as i was saying we're going to be sign, signing users in through an anonymous account so we are not just going to be you know creating applications uh, we're going to be creating the authentication and everything later in the tutorial all right so firebase provides um more than you actually imagine you can use google as an authentication use facebook use um, various platform twitter so for now we are just going to be sticking on email and password so we click on email and password we get it enabled by clicking the enable switch click on save and we are good to go like I said earlier, we're going to be signing in users anonymously. So we're going to create, click on add new provider, click on the anonymous button. We click it enabled and save it. Then we are good to go. So basically this anonymous actually, you know, we are going to be creating the authentication screens later in the tutorial. So we are just going to stick to this anonymous alone. And that is for now. Right, proceeding, we need to get to to real time real time database. So to get our database URL, we need to enable real time database. So we click on the build, then scroll up to real time database. So this is where you actually send um, values data to and uh, get data from this is where you send data to and get data from so you actually sync data in real time so we add go ahead and click on create database and follow the prompt on your screen so firstly you're going to need your database location so let's just keep it as default then we click on next so by default you can't actually write or read from your database so you click on save so right now we're going to change the database rules so the rules basically is what actually makes your database secure so this is our database URL we're going to be copying that so like I said earlier the rules are the one guiding your database so we are going to be changing the rules right now so I want to uh, you can actually you know make your researches on firebase real-time database rules so basically what i'm going to be setting the rules to is login users can actually write on the database but the public can read it so anyone can read the, the data from database but only those that are authenticated can actually write so i'm creating a database for the user's data right now so we're going to be heading to the rules so here we are the rules by default is set to 
false you read for users to read false for anyone to read is false for anyone to write is false so you can't read you can't write anyone can read anyone can write so basically to i'll be changing the read to um, true which will make any everyone in database anyone that has the location the url to the database can actually read it so changing the um, write the write function so i'll be changing it to authentication it equals true authentication not equals none so this basically means users that are authorized which means users that are actually logging into the platform can actually write to the database so anyone can read from the database but only those that are authenticated can write on the database all right so we go ahead and publish it then move to the next one all right so we have um play rules play, playground so this is where you actually test your rules um, guiding your database rules you can test your rules so i don't really want to talk much on this so in the next tutorial on the next video if you guys subscribe i'm going to be touching more on everything we actually you know passed in the previous videos so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and we are good to go Moving to the next one, we have to create a storage for our database where we can actually, you know, store files. Um, users might want to be uploading or files. We, the admin administration administrator, might want to be uploading. So we get started. So by default, um, let's first of all select our. Uh, data location our storage location so by default the code the um, rules of our storage is set to false so you can't read no right let's select um, the region that is actually closer to our country so i don't really know the region that is closer to nigeria but i'm going to be selecting asia not East three just my following my instinct so I'm going to create um, some files in the database bucket this is actually where we get um, our storage bucket URL Alright, that took a while. So, right now we are going to be adding new folders, creating new folders for our wallpaper. So, my plan is to actually upload wallpapers to this to the storage. But first, let's go to the security rules. Yeah, edit rules. All we just have to do is, you know, might write the code, but I don't like writing codes. Um, uh, I just set a single line code to true instead of false. So at the end of the code, which uh, on the fifth fifth line code, set it to true. So I'm having problem you know, setting it and setting it. So I have to just click on it use my um, keyboard to actually position the cursor 
which is very hard for me very hard so cut long story short we change it to true and publish it then we are good to go we created a new folder for our wallpapers you can create multiple folders you can create unlimited folders so we create the folder um, we uploaded the wallpapers and then we got the URL so from the URL we are going to be displaying those wallpapers from the URL so we are going to be copy all the um, URL on the images URL on the wallpapers URL from the database from this story too so right now we are creating a folder name you can just give it a, a name randomly but we have to you know get the wallpaper name yeah we have to get the name we are using for our file so whenever we are uploading files we just you know don't upload it in the wrong address so later in the day i'll be uploading the images the wallpapers to this wallpaper right here so um we're going to be uploading them right there and that will be off screen i won't be recording that so you can just get the url I'll get the url and everything so right now we've added to the project settings and our api key is ready and our app id is ready so let's go ahead and copy our web api key and our app id So we are done right here. Now we'll be adding to our project app application. So we're going to add to the configuration where Firebase library is. So we click on it. Remember we added random stores then, so we are going to enable it. We go to the settings. Going to paste our database URL right here. Go to paste our app ID. Uh, yeah, we are going to get rid of HTTPS and the slash slash for the colon. We don't need that, so we need paste in our app ID. Yes, right here we paste our api key click on next coming to the storage bucket we are we didn't copy that but we can just improvise by we don't improvise we don't improvise we actually you know your project id then dot app spot dot com that's the url to your project your project id dot app spot dot com you can actually copy it in the app sentence and we are good to go so this brings about the end of today's video so in the next video i will be will be creating a list of wallpapers and basically in the next video we'll be creating a list of wallpapers um we'll be creating the logics and using a grid view and that's all for today seeing you in the next video peace out